Hey everyone, Glory B here from Glory B TV to just come on and do a quick video to thank you all for subscribing. I have just reached 100,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. It has been a long time, but I did change the niche topic of my video channel a few years ago. So that's why it took so long to get here. And now I exclusively do skincare, makeup, anti-aging, all kinds of things related to diet and health that have really worked for me over the past 25 years. I'm 63 years old now. I'm on the countdown to 64. Let's see. It's July as I'm filming this. August, September, October, November. I'm five months away from playing that Beatles song when I'm 64. And um, yeah, so it's quite an achievement. It happened over the weekend. Every now and then I'd check my YouTube stats and I click refresh where we can see, it's kind of called our dashboard, where the numbers are. And I thought, oh my gosh, I think I am going to hit 100,000 this weekend. Well, one time I clicked it, I think it was Sunday afternoon, and it said 99,999. I'm like, oh, come on, <laughs> really? Maybe if I waited another minute, I'd just shut it down and came back later and it was over 100,000. So I know some of my old viewers from some of my older content that's not in the beauty, anti-aging, skincare, diet, health, and those old videos, which are now turned off. I know some of those people are unsubscribing and that's fine. That's what happens when I changed my topic on my channel. I didn't, a lot of people do that. They start their channel on one topic and then they switch a couple of years later and they just keep all their old videos and YouTube was fine with it. And they didn't get penalized by YouTube for doing that. But in my case, I had over 200 older videos on other topics. So finally talking with a YouTube consultant, I just turned all those off because YouTube was confused about pushing out the newer content, which is now, you know, a few years old. So I do have beauty related videos that are older now that are, if you go to my channel and you go to videos on that homepage, they put the button back where you can sort a channel's videos by oldest videos. So they used to always have that and they took that off and all the YouTubers were saying, you know what, give us that back. We like to go to other people's channels and see how their earlier videos looked. So the default setting there is the newest one is first, and then you can click by most popular, which will show you the videos that have the most number of views. But if you go to my older stuff, it's, you know, an old camera with old audio and just using a window and the lighting wasn't good. And yeah, so we all struggle with that early on. And you know, the cameras back then, when I started on YouTube, YouTube was a square, like an old timey TV set. It wasn't widescreen. So that's so much has changed in YouTube. I do like that YouTube started out being for people like you and me, just to start a channel. You know, it's, it's changed a lot in those years. And now there are just so many channels by companies by corporations that already have professional equipment and professional pay people to do all kinds of regular TV kind of work. And it's hard to compete with that, right? So I like that YouTube is still about and should still be about the regular people who have a camera and a little bit of lighting and learn how to do editing on their own. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If there are other topics in my niche that you're interested in, please write it in the comments below. I also have in the description box, if you open that up, I also have, you know, my email address is there. My other social media links is there as well. Um, I work with brands all the time who want me to test their products. Of course, my email address is there, but brands know how to find that. But tell me in the comments like what other topics i know my osteoporosis videos have been huge once i was working with my friend dr shostek and we were saying okay i got the osteoporosis diagnosis she has osteopenia how should we 
talk about this and how should we attack it because neither of us were going to take the bone drugs because we had done the research on them and they're horrible and if you want to find out about that I will definitely link the original video where she talked about the bone drugs and I also have other resources for you to do your own research because I have all kinds of women coming every day finding my channel saying they just got the osteoporosis diagnosis their doctor wants them to go on drugs but they want to do some research first so there are a lot of places for you to do your research on that and for good ways to build good bone and of course I then reversed the osteoporosis diagnosis when I was 61, all by natural means, all by diet and supplements and exercise. So I'm still on this track to find all kinds of ways to build healthy bone, especially once we're past menopause. But I'm getting women in their 40s saying they got an osteoporosis diagnosis. Some men are getting the diagnosis. So it can hit a lot of people surprisingly. And just because your mom had osteoporosis doesn't mean that you can't build real strong bone naturally. Then we are finding that even though high impact exercises work for me, a lot of you can't do high impact exercises like jumping. So I have more exercise videos talking about other things that you can do to build real bone. Dr. Shostak is constantly learning more and more about what they're finding in research, what supplements work the best, which supplements should you take for um, a just short amount of time. So yeah, thanks for watching those videos. I mean, I'm not a one topic channel. My channel is not just about osteoporosis, but if something works for me, I want to tell you about it. If my diet works for me, which it does, I tell you about that all the time um, from video to video or I mentioned it in a video just because I changed my diet when I was 38 and it's never too late to change and it totally improved my health. I'm the only person in my family in the generation, okay, the younger generation still doesn't have comorbidities right now, but I'm the only one in my family, whether related by blood or by marriage, who has no comorbidities. The rest of them have cancer, type two diabetes, heart disease, um, but high blood pressure and high cholesterol are a combination of those. We've already lost, I've lost one cousin who is younger than I am and my sister-in-law younger than I am to one or more of those diseases already. I have none of those. I don't take medications for any of that. So it works. <laughs> and I know it was so hard for people to follow. Now, some of my friends followed me and did the diet and they're doing really well. But some people tried and then failed. So I put together a course, three courses actually, but it starts with my Kickstart Your Health course that helps you just go step by step so that you succeed at changing your diet and improving your health. And you're encouraged, you're losing some weight, you're getting down to a good healthy weight and you feel better, you sleep better, you wake up in the morning, you've got energy all day, you don't have to have coffee to wake up. You don't have to have cola to wake up. And then all this food, eliminating the bad food and keeping in the good food helps to build real strong bone. So isn't that what you want? I've also, I'm not good on my feet. You know, I've, if you've watched my channel, I have had foot surgery for the bunions. I wasn't born with a good bone structure, okay? And when I was seven years old, I couldn't touch my toes. But back then, they were like, eh, nah, what is that about? I don't know. The doctors didn't care. The parents were like, look at her. She can't touch her toes, skinny little thing. But I wasn't in pain, so they didn't do anything. So now, you know, getting older, I've had some issues. I've had lower back spinal stenosis. I've had... Um, like I said, the bunion surgery. So between the stenosis and the bunion surgery, I don't have good balance. Well, if you don't, if you're small and you don't have good bones or, you know, okay, I don't have osteoporosis anymore, but my, I'm postmenopausal. So my bones aren't as strong as they were when I was in my thirties. So I don't want to fall. Falling is bad. So I have exercise videos now for strengthening the core area, for strengthening the glutes, for strengthening the abs, for all kinds of things that help with balance. And there have been times where I've almost fallen. 
I started putting these together in 2017. I think it was 2017. I fell four times. Four times. Once in a Chipotle, I had a whole tray of food in my hands. Just went down. Uh, once while walking the dog and two inside the house on a laminate floor where there was some water on the floor I didn't see and I was barefoot went right down. Okay, four times in 2017. So I thought, I've got to do something. I can't be falling. And since then, I haven't fallen except for, if <laughs> some of you watch my videos. So last year after I moved, I was out in my garage doing a video. Garage door was up. Nobody was in the neighborhood. And all of a sudden, this loose, huge German shepherd came by and she was unruly and she knocked me down. Other than that, I haven't fallen at all, but I've had close calls and I've caught myself because I've done these exercises regularly. And I don't even belong to a gym right now. So you don't have to belong to a gym to do the exercises that are in the video. I've got lots of videos on that. If you don't know how to use YouTube, one of the great things you can do, and somebody said to me recently, nobody's looking at playlists anymore, but playlists are a great way to find on anybody's channel topics that you're interested in. Because maybe you're interested in some of their topics, but not all of them. So what you want to do, you want to go to their regular homepage of their channel and then go into where the menu is. Do so you see home, you see videos, playlists. So tap playlists or click it if you're watching on a computer. And then you can go down the list and you can see all of their playlists. And then what I do, I click where it says view entire playlist because if you click the image for the playlist, it's just going to start playing the videos in order. Now we can put playlist videos in a couple different orders. So the default is that the oldest video is at the top and then the newest is at the bottom. Some of my some of my playlists are sorted like that, but most of mine, I flip them so that the most current video is on the top. But then you can go down the video list and see which ones you really want to see. That's a great way to look at my fitness videos or my fitness videos specifically for lower back spinal stenosis or my osteoporosis videos, or maybe you're interested in skincare and makeup. And you want to know, okay, how's a 63-year-old doing her doing her makeup? Definitely check out playlists. It's a great way to not be so random about your video watching. It's a great way to just see the videos you want to watch. So again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for helping me to get to 100,000. I'd love for this to be a community of women who want to be healthy and want to do it as naturally as possible and get off medications, to look good and feel good. I know everything isn't about looking younger, but I'll tell you something. When your diet is right, your supplements are right, your exercise are right, you're feeling so much better. You have so much more energy and it starts to show in your face and you don't have to go to the dermatologist or the plastic surgeon to have any work done on your face, okay? Unless you're into that, but you don't have to because you just start to glow. And that's what my channel is about. Thanks again. And check out one of my other videos. I'll put a couple over on the right side of your screen. And I'll see you in the next video.